The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me today for the Sunday readings as we prepare for this coming Sunday, the fifth Sunday of Easter, falling on May the 7th this year. The theme that ties our readings together for this fifth Sunday of Easter is the Lord Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Again, the Lord Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hear the word of the Lord. The first reading is from the book of Acts, the sixth and seventh chapter, portion of the sixth and seventh chapters. Now, in these days, when the disciples were increasing in number, a complaint by the Hellenists arose against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. And the twelve summoned the full number of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of God to serve tables. Therefore, brothers, pick out from among you seven men of good repute, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom, whom we will appoint to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And what they said pleased the whole gathering. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Tigman, and Paramenus, and Nicholas, and a proselyte of Antioch. These they set before the apostles, and they prayed and laid their hands on them, and the word of God continued to increase. And the number of the disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem, and a great many of the priests became obedient to the faith. And Stephen, full of grace and power, was doing great wonders and signs among the people. And some of those who belonged to the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, and of the Cyrenians, and of the Alexandras, and those from Sicily and Asia, rose up and disputed with Stephen. And Stephen said, Brothers and fathers, hear me, you stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears. You always resist the Holy Spirit, as your fathers did, so do you. Which of the prophets did not your fathers persecute? And they killed those who announced beforehand the coming of the righteous one, whom you have now betrayed and murdered, you who received the laws delivered by angels and did not keep it. Now when they heard these things, they were enraged, and they ground their teeth at him. But he, full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens opened, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and rushed together at him. Then they cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their garments at the feet of a young man named Saul, and as they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And falling to his knees, he cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The epistle is from 1 Peter, chapter 2. Like newborn infants long for the pure spiritual milk, that by it you may grow up to salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good, as you come to him a living stone, rejected by men, but in the sight of God chosen and precious, you yourselves, like living stones, are being built up as a spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ, for it stands in Scripture, Behold, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. So the honor is for you who believe, but for those who do not believe that sto the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. They stumble because they disobey the word as they were destined to do. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of the darkness and into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospels according to St. John, the 14th chapter. Jesus said, 
Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and I will take you to myself, that where I am you may be also, and you know the way to where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. From now on you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe on account of the works themselves. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do, and greater works than these will he do, because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, this I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son, if you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. The risen Lord Jesus alone is the way, the truth, and the life. And we come to the Father only through him. God is thus glorified in the Son. And those who believe in him will do the works of Christ but he, because he goes to the Father for us. Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and doing great wonders and signs among the people, did the works of Christ. When he was falsely accused and put to death, he gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand. Fixing his hope there, he commended his spirit to the Lord Jesus, and he prayed for his murderers. In the same way, all the baptized are called to follow the example of Christ Jesus by faith. Though he was rejected by men in the sight of God, he is chosen and precious. He is the chief cornerstone of the Father's spiritual house, and we are built upon him as living stones. We pray together, we pray the prayer, I pray the prayer of the day. O oh God, you make the minds of your faithful to be of one will. Grant that we may love what you have commanded and desire what you promise, that among the many changes of this world our hearts may be fixed where true joys are found. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We're bold to pray together as our Father has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.